How's it going guys? So in this video I'm going to talk about how exactly you can fulfill orders for your dropshipping or Shopify store using Oberlo and this video is for you if you're trying to figure out how you can actually fulfill the orders you get on your dropshipping store. You might have made an order already and wondering how to fulfill it. In that case, please watch ahead and I'm going to guide you through exactly how you can fulfill using Oberlo. So this question came about because I was asked in my private group by someone who actually just set up a store a week ago and he's already got his first sale. So first of all, congrats to him. Uh, and it's, it's fairly simple, basically, if you want to fulfill with Oberlo. So what you want to do, if you don't already have Oberlo first, you want to make sure Oberlo is installed on your Shopify store. So install that. And then secondly, you want to make sure it's integrated with your AliExpress account and you've entered a payment method on AliExpress. So those are the two first things that you need to have, an Oberlo app installed on your Shopify store and then an AliExpress account. And enter, payment detail, enter your payment details on the AliExpress account because if you're unaware of the dropshipping model, basically you want to use your payment method on AliExpress to fulfill the order and then of course you get cash in when someone has purchased from your site through your payment processor. So once you have an order come through from your Shopify store, you want to go to your apps on your Shopify store, click on the Oberlo app and it's going to open up a dashboard uh, and the Oberlo dashboard is going to go straight to the Oberlo dashboard. Once you're in the Oberlo dashboard, you want to click on orders somewhere in the left hand menu. Once you click on orders, you're going to see a list of orders that you need to fill on your store. So it's, it's very easy. They've, they've put in terms of all the, the orders that you need to fulfill on your store. Uh, numbered from 1 to 100, whatever the amount of orders that you need to fulfill. So it's clear there. Then you want to just go and click on fulfill order. So you click on fulfill order, as simple as it sounds, and then it's going to open up AliExpress. So that's why you've got to make sure you're logged into AliExpress. It's going to open up your AliExpress and then it's going to populate itself. That's the beauty of a Berlo. It's going to populate once you've clicked on place uh, fulfill order. It's going to populate uh, the exact order that this person has placed on your store is going to pull that up automatically on AliExpress So give it a few seconds and it will pull up and then once that is done it's going to add an item automatically to your AliExpress basket again I might pull up a video so you understand exactly what I mean with this so it's going to pull that up you go to, to it's the item is now in your cart in AliExpress when you click on checkout it's going to then pull together all the, the information that this person has entered on your store. So say it's Sudie Smith in Virginia in the States, it's going to pull up all her information, her shipping address and all that so you don't have to do that manually. If you want to double check to make sure everything is, is okay, it should be, but if you want to double check, just go to your Oberlo dashboard, click on Susie Smith's name or whoever's ordered and double check her shipping details to make sure that adds up. A final note in terms of the details that pull up, you can add your own telephone number there in case there's any problem with the order or sometimes I just put a fake phone number in there. It's, it's up to you which one you go with. And then a final note, this is quite important when fulfilling, there's a note section in the checkout of AliExpress. You want to make sure in the checkout, in, in the note section, you, you state to the seller that this is a drop shipped item. So they shouldn't put any promotional material with, with the, the order. So once that is all set up, once that's all good to go, um, then you can place the order and it's going to take take the, the amount from your payment method and automatically fulfill the order. Also, as a side note, you want to make sure you choose e-package shipping, make sure that's available with the products you're sourcing so it gets to the customer as quickly as possible with e-package shipping. So once that's done, that's basically the process on a burlo. It's very simple to follow. It will fulfill the order and send it directly to your customer with the shipping details that they have entered. So. That's as, as easy as it is on Oberlo. You can go back to your Oberlo dashboard and you should see the item is processing. So it's, it takes a couple of days for the seller to process it before they ship it on AliExpress. So you can go back to your Oberlo dashboard and make sure it's actually fulfilled. But that is the process from Oberlo. It's very easy and very simple to follow. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you understood how to fulfill your orders on Oberlo because of course you don't want to just get orders in and not fulfill them. So Oberlo makes it very easy to do. And hope you, you got value from this video. You understand how to fulfill your orders now. Whether you've already got an order or you're waiting on your first order, this is good information to know. So once again, hope this video helped. Ask me any question related to this in the comments or on Facebook. If you want to get more ad advice or learn from stuff that I've done. Um, once again, thanks for watching the video though. Subscribe if you like this content and I will see you on the next one. 
Also, just a final note, if you are on this channel, you probably are into dropshipping. You probably want to find out how to get more out of your dropshipping store. So I've compiled a list of a guide in terms of how I find products with the best potential to sell or winning products as people like to call them. I've compiled a guide, put that somewhere in the description or in the comments below. So feel free to check that out if you wish. And regardless, see you on the next video.